Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and this week we have in the lab the Lenovo Legion C530, the Cube Personal Gaming Desktop. Now, I'm a little disappointed on this particular model because originally when Lenovo announced the Cube lineup, right, it looked like a transformer. This doesn't look like a transformer anymore. I love that design. This one looks more like a six pack cooler. Whoa. So today we're only going to be doing the unboxing and first impressions and hopefully next week we will be doing a live stream review with some gaming. So automatically start jotting down at the comment section what games you want me to play. Uh, I know a lot of you are going to give me some weird recommendations like Battlefield and Call of Duty and all that crazy stuff or GTA. I am an extreme noob. So I'm going to try to get those games and play it with this awesome machine. I'm hoping it's an awesome machine. I'm going to stop talking and let's start the unboxing. All right, guys, so what comes inside the box? Uh, a lot of stuff, pretty self-explanatory. So we have the Legion C530 desktop PC. Uh, this is basically like the warranty and instructions. We have a power cable, one power cable. We have a very ordinary mouse and keyboard. So mouse and keyboard, it's nothing special. It's just a regular mouse and keyboard. Uh, if you want a gaming mouse or a keyboard, mechanical keyboard for gaming purposes, most likely you might have to spend a little bit more money. Now, I think the retail price for the C530 Mini Q PC is uh, between $819 or $899, I believe. I'm not too sure. Okay, and this is the beautiful uh, <laughs> Lenovo Legion C530 Mini Q personal computer. Like I said, I'm a little disappointed because it doesn't have that transformer look like the original Cube that they released a while back. And But they made it like a six pack. It's pretty sturdy, pretty heavy, and it's pretty solid. Wow, awesome. All right, so this guy has a lot of ports and features. So let's take a closer look on the front part and see what's what. Okay, so on the front part, uh, got a nice little grill. Looks like this is where your ventilation system, I'm assuming this is where one of the fans are located. You got the Legion kind of logo right here. I'm also assuming it glows up when you turn it on. Uh, color off the bat, I think it's red, right? But all the way in the bottom, you have some ports and features. This guy right here is for your mic. This one right here is your combo audio jack, which allows you to hook up a headphone or a headphone with a mic. And then these two guys are 3.1 USB ports. At the very top, we have our power button. And it can't power it on because the power cord is not there yet. But, you know, sit tight. We're going to take care of that pretty soon. Uh, there's a lot of ports at the back, so I'm going to turn it around and let's take a look. All right, so on the back side of the C530, we have more ports. So uh, let's take a look right here. This is our graphics card. I believe this particular machine is running a GeForce GTX 1050 4 gig graphics card. I definitely need to confirm that when we power it on, but it has a display port an HDMI and a DVI port. On the motherboard itself, we have an audio port which allows us to hook up a headphone. We have our RJ45, our Ethernet ports, one gig per second, cool. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six USBs. I think the first two right here are 2.0 bus speed and uh, the rest is either 3.1 USB ports. And then we have one HDMI, which is actually integrated into the motherboard. And this is our power. It looks like we have two screws right here I'm assuming this allows us to remove this uh, side panel right here. So I'm gonna get my trusty tool and get the Phillips screwdriver. See if we could uh, remove that out. Let's see 
See if I could find it. Here we go. Because I know a lot of you always ask, like, how, how, how do you open it? So I'm assuming this guy right here is for the side panel. All right. Got two long screws. Two screws. Take that to the side. And let's move it a little bit. There you go. So I'm assuming if I put my finger, I got I got nails. So if I could put it right here in the groove and just slide it towards me and just gently pull it. Awesome. So this right here gives me access to the hard drive. Looks like we have, oh, I gotta take a closer look. It looks like we have one terabyte SATA drive. And this is probably the D drive, our raw storage. And this is the power supply. It is a 80 plus bronze power supply with 450 watts. It looks like you, you, I think you'd be able to upgrade this, remove this and upgrade it. Cool. All right, so we're gonna put the side panel back and we're gonna figure out how to get the other side panel because the other side panel is the one that most likely is going to give us access to the graphics card, the memory, and whatever else we we probably want to upgrade. So it's, all right, cool. All right, so again, this side panel right here with the two screws will give you access to your solid state drive or your SATA drive or whatever, uh, and also your power supply. This particular machine only has, for what I've seen, a SATA one terabyte, and I'm assuming it is raw storage. It's probably my D drive. Now to access this panel, I'm gonna turn it around for you guys. Now to access the other panel, uh, there's a latch right here. So I'm assuming if I pull it, if I pull it, pull it, if I pull it and slide it this way, slide it towards you guys, I'm able to take it out. Cool. So the latch towards you, slide it out to you, right? Latch to me and I'm sliding it out to you. <laughs> awesome, so let's put that to the side and let's turn it a little bit so you guys can have a better look. Oh my God. Isn't that awesome? Cool, 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 cool. Nice. All right, we only have two DIMMs, meaning we could only hook up two memory cards. Uh, this one right now is eight gigs. And this is the graphics card right here. It looks like it is uh, one fan, the 1050, GTX 1050, four gigs. Little CPU right there. I think the CPU is definitely an Intel uh, eighth generation processor. I don't know which one yet. I don't know what series and I don't know the clock speed. A little baby fan right here. <laughs> and there's another fan right here. I wonder how would you remove the front panel? I'm definitely going to see how we're going to remove the front panel. Cool. Oh, and we also have an Intel Optin. Uh, what is this? Uh, 16 gigs of memory right here. Cool. And right here in the top, all the way in the top, is our Wi-Fi chip. So this guy is able to go wireless. I don't recommend going wireless and playing games. I mean, if you have like a strong wireless connection to game and stream, go for it. But I'd rather just plug in a hard wire and stream and play games that way. But this looks pretty sweet. I wonder what's the capacity of memory. I definitely need to check that out. I'll probably follow up with you guys during my review. But off the bat, I see these two latches right here that I'm able to remove the front panel. But you see, see what's happening right now? These two, these little three latches, it's stuck over here. So I'm gonna stick it back in. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take my little screwdriver, should never put it back, get my Phillips again, All right? And I'm gonna bring it towards to you guys. And I'm gonna unscrew this because it looks like I need both side panels removed to remove the front panel. I definitely want to see and know what type of fan, how big the fan is. Is it a dual fan? Is it a single fan? Am I able to replace it? All right, again, to remove it, you're gonna, if you got fingernails, 
put it right here in the groove, and then slide it to yourself. Slide it towards you. You're gonna put this right here in the side. And now, we got these little grooves, that's three on each side, six in total. So, if I just, in each side, one in the bottom, one in the middle, one on top, and then I, I pull, I'm gonna pull real slow. The reason why I'm pulling slow is because I don't know if there's cables attached to it. And there is a cable attached to it, so you have to be super careful. And the cable that's attached to it is uh, the LED for the, for the O. Okay, so it looks like we have one fan. But you are able to install another fan. Lenovo, why didn't you just give us another fan? Come on, why? Damn it. Two fans would have been awesome, but it looks like you are able to customize and purchase another fan, or if you're slick, you could probably find dual fans that are together, you know, measure this, and you could probably stick it in. Awesome. Cool, I don't even know what this is. What is this? I like poking stuff around. <laughs> what is this? I don't know what this is, but following the wire, the wire goes around here. I won't even mess with that. Well, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I know what this is. This is probably the wire for the wireless. This little guy right here, that's awesome. Cool, I'm gonna leave that alone. All right. All right, so I'm gonna put everything together. I'm gonna put the two side panels and the front panel together. I'm gonna get my 4K BenQ monitor. I'm gonna hook it up, we're gonna power it on. We're gonna see how the beast works. We're gonna check out the specifications and uh, we're good to go. Holy moly, uh, this is the first Lenovo review unit that I've ever had issues with. Crap. Uh, automatically, when I powered it on, I was getting issues with uh, an unclean shutdown, and it was trying to diagnose and repair itself. Oh my god, what a what a freaking nightmare! Uh, when it finally boot up, uh, I automatically noticed that the primary hard drive is that one terabyte SATA drive, so it runs extremely slow. Holy moly! But the setup is the following. We have a 4K BenQ setup, uh, I believe HDMI to display on the graphics card on the GTX 1050 that this guy has. The power button is on the top. We're gonna power it on. We have a standard keyboard and mouse hooked up to the two 2.0 USB ports in the back. And I finally got it up and running, super happy. It is going to run a little slow. Super sad. That sucks. Lenovo, why didn't you hook me up with a solid state drive? What a SATA. It's just so slow. Look at that. It's I'm still waiting to load up into the desktop. If it was a solid state drive, I'd have been in there quick. That one terabyte hard drive should have been great for raw storage, installing applications or saving images or documents. Automatically, I know I have to do some cleanup on this machine. I got to remove that McAfee. Cause that's just complete garbage. Ugh. Look at that. It's still, it's still trying to load up. I'm trying to click on start and it's not even clicking on. I can't open up start. That's how horrible it is. I'm gonna right click on the task bar, go to task manager. Uh, let's go to performance and performance right now. When I first started, when I was testing everything out, the C drive was just flatline 100%. It was just ridiculous. It was, nothing was running. Uh, I, I still can't get the start menu to load up. So that's, that's not good. I don't know, I might have to do a little bit of IT troubleshooting on this machine. I might have to do is a recovery, wipe it clean, uh, reinstall the operating system to get it up and running, install the drivers and all that stuff so it could work correctly for me. So I'm going uh, to look at that. This is another thing that I received out of the box. A CLR error, 8,000, 4,005. The program will now terminate. Yeah, out of the box. This sucks. We're going to open up the task manager up a little large. We're going to right click here, change the graph to logical processors. Right now it has one socket, six cores, logical processors of six. It is running an Intel Core i5-8400 CPU with a clock speed of 2.80 gigahertz. It's an i5 processor. Uh, a little I'm a little sad about that. It'd be nice if I got the i7. That'd have been awesome, i7 or i9. I'm wondering if the C530 
goes up to I9. I have to check that out. For memory, we have eight gigs. Uh, again, it only has two uh, DIMM slots within the motherboard. So 8, 8, 16, or 16, 16, 32. I'm assuming right here that 64 gigs is the max on the C530. But I will uh, double check on that when we do the review. Uh, clock speed on the memory sticks are 2666 megahertz. Uh, Wi-Fi chip. For the C drive, uh, we only have one hard drive, and that's that SATA with the Intel Optin Plus, which is 16 gigs of memory. That's not really doing much with it. Uh, Ethernet is not connected. Wi-Fi is not connected. Uh, we have two GPUs. Uh, GPU Zero graphics processor is the Ultra HD Graphics 630, which is embedded into the CPU. You're going to get that automatically. And for GPU One, we have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. And this one is the one with four gigs, dedicated GPU memory, four gigs. Yeah, but the C drive is just, look at these spikes. And I still... I still can't get the start menu up and running. Holy crap. Off the bat, first impressions. I like the machine. I like the specifications. It would have been awesome if Lenovo hooked me up with an i7. Uh, I'm assuming you could probably get the i9. I'm not too sure. It would have been awesome, i9. Uh, memory, 8 gigs is not that bad. I would love it, maybe 32 gigs. The hard drive, that SATA hard drive, that is bothering me a lot. Uh, a lot of slowness issues because of that hard drive. It would have been awesome with an Intel solid-state drive or a Toshiba solid-state drive, whatever, a Seagate, whatever. Just a solid-state drive. Why in the hell are you going to give me a SATA drive? Um, graphics card is great. Uh, I'm a little worried that the start menu is not loading up for me. So I might have to do a little bit of troubleshooting. I wonder if I'm able to open up uh all settings see if i'm able to open up all settings all right great because if i'm able to open up all settings i am able to go to recovery and do get started i can restart this reset the pc refresh it you know start from fresh install all the drivers and get it up and running so when it's time for me to do the review and the live stream gaming for you guys it's running efficiently off the bat the way that i have it right now out of the box i'm not liking it at all really sad uh the design of the C530, I do miss the original cube design that looks like a transformer. It looked like a Decepticon. So um, this whole design that looks like a cooler, like a six pack cooler. Overall guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash first impressions of Lenovo Legion C530 cube mini PC uh, computer. Uh, I'm just shaking my head because it kind of sucks that I'm already having problems with it and I, have, I already have to troubleshoot this guy. So if you have any comments, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.